What is going on, everybody? I would like to thank and welcome you for joining me for another episode of Jay Plays. I am Jay Wright, and today we are taking on the Cat Lady. Now, the Cat Lady is actually one of the not first, but first recently suggested games that we've had on the uh, in the comment section. It was actually in our Sally Face playthrough, which we do seem to get a lot of suggestions from the Sally Face playthrough, which I'm thankful for because I love Sally Face. So the games that usually come from that are usually pretty good. But anyway, Sakura Moon has suggested that we take on the cat lady. And as soon as I went and looked this game up on Steam and I saw the images and I saw the story, it immediately checked off every box that I look for when it comes to playing a game. So I'm super excited to dive into this. What do we know about the cat lady? Well, Steam tells us the cat lady follows Susan Ashworth, a lonely 40 year old on the verge of suicide. She has no family, no friends, and no hope for a better future. One day she discovers that five strangers will come along and change everything. Hooked. Sold. You, te you, you threw out the hook, you captured me, and now I just want to see what we reel in because that, I don't know, man. There's a lot of ways you can go with that with who the strangers are going to be and what the story is going to be. So I'm super excited to dive into this. Thank you, Soccer Moon, for suggesting this game. And without further ado, let's dive into The Cat Lady. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true. But I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly, but they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Wow. So you can kind of already tell why this would capture my interest. That was a hell of an intro. And this just the style already, the artistic style is it's unique and although off putting, inviting in a way that makes me excited to play through this. Uh, obviously, forewarning, clearly we were dealing with some sensitive subjects here and uh, I don't know what the ending is going to be like. I don't know what we are going to see, but um, just keep that in mind if you're going to continue on with watching this video. That we may see some terrible things, which I guess is not uncommon for our channel anyway. Okay, we went from a um, two-story flat in the middle of a very desolate, not even desert, just a depressing looking city to somewhere out in the forest or the fields, country fields. This is her afterlife. She already gone. Are we playing her transition to open? I go through available options with up and down to confirm. Oh, I see. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. All right. I am. So are we already on the other side of of life? I thought this was somebody on the verge of suicide, not somebody who had already committed it. 
weird that that one car has color and that's this like bleak black and white world that we're inhabiting Okay, I can't interact with anything. Nothing. Whoa! Okay, I thought that was slime dropping from the ceiling. Does this game not play like a movie intro? Like, even with the beginning and how, like, the, the studio popped up, it seemed very movie-like. Uh, what is it that you want me to... I can't go any further. This ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there is no exit at all. All right, well, let's go inside. Let's see what's inside. It's locked. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be locked? Everything in this world is locked. Um, maybe try again. Maybe you just got to pull a little bit harder. Really use those biceps. All right, maybe not then. So what's going to come running after us? Something has to change. Huh? Yeah. What's making that noise? Hello? Who's there? Answer me. I'm glad they got voice actors as well, so I don't have to do my terrible voices and you don't have to suffer through my terrible voices. That looks like us on that gurney. It's me. My cold, dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? Do we even want to know? We can turn our head, we can open our eyes, we can open our mouth, we can do a lot of stuff. I look so calm. That's one word to describe yourself. Oh my gosh, we could be a little bit more gentler with our head. My eyes. Just about, just about one thing I liked about myself. They're a nice shade of green. Even now, they still shine a little, as if they're alive and seeing. Oh, that's not creepy. Is that a key in her mouth? In in my mouth? I'll better take it with me. Um. Okay. It's down to open the inventory. Okay. All right. Hope she doesn't sit up. Do I even want to know? Oh boy. As if being dead wasn't good enough, we have to die in the other world as well? Do we even investigate that and see what the hell just happened or nope? I don't think I have a run function either. I think this is the same speed we'll have the entire time. Oh, we've got a new friend it seems. And the wind. And we've lost a friend. This is this is the issue here. We can't keep friends. Not even animals want to stay around us. Y'all see that red and that green tree over there? Just like this burst of color in that green? Uh, well, I guess we'll go ahead and enter. I have a key, if that's cool. I'll use that. Um... Thanks, huh? The hole has been boarded up with these planks. The sign underneath says emergency power switch danger. Uh, too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. Well, it seems like we only have one option, right? There's definitely something there. I can tell for sure, but it looks... I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Pull the lever. I'm not strong enough to pull them off of my bare hands. Okay, well then I changed my mind. Don't pull the lever. Switch on. How strange. There doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do you turn it on? I'm guessing those planks back there, but we're not strong enough to do it with our bare hands. So let's go outside. Follow the deer friend. Maybe the deer is our friend and it's just leading us on a new journey. It's guiding us to the truth of how to turn on that machine whatever that machine may be there's that burst of color i was talking about just like okay 
Seems like a hell of a trip. I don't know what she took, but this seems like a mind effing trip. Oh, I guess she did tell us what she took. I mean, she took sleeping pills. That was generic. I don't know exactly what she took, though. Whatever it was, 34, that, that seems more than enough to do the job. That is a lot of pills. A lot of pills. I'm actually surprised that it's such a homey experience for her to transition like that. Like, uh, you're just like, I feel calm. And I'm just fading. And I'm like, 34 pills seems like it'd be a painful way. And I guess, I guess if they're all sleeping pills, maybe not. Uh, is that us again? My dead body hanging from a tree. I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that P? All right, somehow we're going to get up there. The body's too high. I can't reach. This is a metaphysical horrifying ish right here. The rope is tied into a knot. I'm going to untie the knot. It would take me hours to undo this knot. Are you kidding me? Why is everything a struggle with you? The door seems bolted from the other side. Well, I don't have much option. I don't have a knife. I guess we could, um... Uh, what could we do here? Down on the deer's back. Climb up here that way. I... I can't remember this place. Am I lost? Love that she has more to comment on about the environment than seeing two of her bodies at this point. Uh, maybe that crow helped and went and pecked off the rope. This is definitely not where we came from, though. What the hell is that? What a gruesome display. Oh, my gosh. At least it's not my head stuck on the bars. That's true. I never thought about that. I'd much prefer this than the alternative. Everything's locked. It's locked. This world is just full of locked stuff. All right, let's go see if the crow freed our uh, ourself. You know what? I think I see what they're trying to do here. I think what it's saying is it wants us to fall wherever the crow goes, we should go. Got it. So it goes that way. Still going that way. Still going that way. And we should go back now. Keep following. I'm assuming something will happen here eventually. Thanks, Crow. Definitely needed to see this. This was great. Again, uh, at least it's not our own body. Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? I guess we can take the knife so we can cut down there ourselves. I don't know if somebody was cleaning this deer to eat, but I feel like they did a terrible job. I've never seen a deer look like that after cleaning, at least not if you plan on eating it. Oh, okay, that's trippy. We'll go ahead and uh, use this knife. No, we're using, we're doing the wrong thing here. How do we get out of this? I don't need to do any of this. I don't, okay, I guess I'm stuck. Uh, like this. For a second, I thought she's about to start cutting at herself. That would, oh my gosh. Like, she really doesn't care about her bodies at all. All right, let's look closer here, and we've got another Susan. I look like I'm just sleeping. That's one way to look at it, I guess. I don't feel like you look like you're sleeping at all. In fact, you have like a death pallor, like almost like a mask on top of you. Like death itself is wearing your face. Empty. Leave. No, take the key first. All right, Susan. She doesn't seem too upset about us taking her key. Um, I guess we can use this key on that one creepy door with all the uh, animal heads. All right, well, I'm going to open this. I got to stop doing that. Forward march. Door opened with some authority there for some reason. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. 
I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who, Her arms are super long. Who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious, who do you think I am? Death, an old lady who lives in the woods. Are you God? Are you the devil? I mean, it could be one of four, but based off the scenery right now, it's nothing good. I'm going to say an old lady who lives in the woods. An old lady who lives in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> Am I really, Susan? Are you that naive? Or perhaps you're too stubborn to see what I really am. I've waited all that time for you, and now you disappoint me. Oh god, did I just kill Susan? Time waiting. I'm not worth waiting for. I'm just nobody. And you, to me, you're just a strange old woman sitting on a porch of her house. And those flowers you're holding, what are they for anyway? I'm going to put them on your coffin, dear. After everyone's gone. I wouldn't bother. I hate flowers. Wow. Do we even, I mean, I don't even feel like if we were to stay with the character here, I don't even think she would ask what will happen next. I don't think she cares. What is this place? Or no, I don't think she cares about what is this place. She would care more about what will happen next. What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. Yo, I am so hooked right now. I mean, I can't think of the last time a story in a game has hooked me like this. I am so curious. A lonely seashore. I think it has a lot to do with the Please writing. Don't touch anything, dear. My bad. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lie to yourself. I don't mean to. Uh, let's look at her. Is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. So if I had to redo it, I would assume that she's death, right? I can't see her being God. And going straight to the devil seems like an even worse option than saying you're an old lady living in the woods. Now we can talk properly, my dear. I didn't realize that was flowers she was holding in her hand. I thought that was like a bone of some sort. I still don't really know who you are, I can assume. Will I be punished for taking my own life? That could lead. That is an interesting question. I'm kind of curious to see what the answer to that one is. Is there anyone else here? I'm going to do the will I be punished for taking my own life. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows, I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I am going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. I mean, it looks like it's giving us an option to ask additional questions, so... Let's go with, uh... I still don't really know who you are. I don't really know who you are. I go by many names. Just say one of them. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me, but there is one name the fallen ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. I haven't heard that one. You are. 
Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone. I guess that's me. That's creepy. Look at her face, dude. It's like faded when she turns to look towards us, like a bad Polaroid photo that are an like underexposed or a photo taken too quickly. Is there anyone else here? Is there anyone else here? <laughs> I thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone. Mm. And it will never, ever come again. You know, I am curious about this woman's purpose as far as does she do this for everyone that is sad and thinking about taking themselves? Or as she said, she was waiting for Susan, so clearly she can identify who is on the brink. Or is she taking a particular interest in Susan specifically? We can say, we. I have no reason to live, please just let me go, or what do you want me to do? I'm afraid if we say, please just let me go, it's going to end the game, so I'm going to go with, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Hmm. Okay. Whoever's doing the voice acting is also really good for the grandmother or the old lady. That life has destroyed. Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face Five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special. Just like you. Only in a slightly different way. I am so intrigued by this, man. I mean, the words are capturing me just completely. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Those five people, who are they? What makes you think I want to go back? That's a good question. I think Susan would ask that. What makes what you think makes I want to go back? Think I want to go back. Oh. I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. Oh. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. This game is dark, dude. This game is super dark. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Those five people, who are they? I want to know why she chose her. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. I just want to vanish. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel. Because I felt like this myself 
for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again. Hmm. You know, the way that they're both facing right now and looking at their facial structure and you apply a little bit more old age to Susan, the older woman almost looks like Susan. Just a bit. Just a bit. Those five people, who are Those they? five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As harmless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. Mm. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Wow, okay, I was wrong. Now that I'm looking more closely, her nose is more triangular, and Susan's nose is a little bit more broad. Her chin jets out just a bit more. Susan's kind of comes in and down a bit more. I was wrong. I was seeing something there that I wasn't actually seeing. Are you expecting me to kill them no susan i'm expecting you to fight for survival to do everything you can to defend yourself i know you're not a murderer quite the opposite actually you're a good person and i also know that you don't want to suffer and those people will want to cause you pain they won't hesitate in the end you might have no choice think of it as gardening if there were weeds among the flowers you'd pull them out wouldn't you you'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it i'm not really a gardening type but i see your point i'm glad and remember this you are not the only victim if you don't stop them the killing will continue Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference and the chance to save yourself. Okay, so she's not God because she has the power of the gods is what she said. She's not the devil, which I'm assuming she's equating to near or on the same level as a god. And then she can't be deaf because she literally said she's not deaf. So who is this queen of maggots? I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. Damn. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. Hell of a gift. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Maybe like a Please, curse for her. Can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. Wow, she is powerful. She has the ability to basically tell death to fuck off. That's crazy. It's blackmail. You can't do that. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Um... I to see what Susan would say, and I feel like she would go with, uh, she doesn't believe you. Sure, why not? She doesn't believe in anything else, really, it seems like. just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Let's go.
go inside. Oh god, is she gonna show us that we can't I die? I to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. I am terrified as to what she wants to show us. I actually do not want to see what the Queen of Maggots has to show us that would make us change our mind about life and death. Yes, it's you, Susan. Come close. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assume it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you would endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. What? Wait, what does that mean? No. No, no. Crucified all alone in one place that's changed it all. I really don't want to be here. I got chills. I don't think I don't. Oh my gosh, we're about to do. It's stuck in the cross. I suppose I could easily pull it out. What do you want me to do with that? Can we leave? Oh, okay, she is equating her to death, even though she said she's not death. Susan, it's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Okay, I'm glad we didn't beat ourselves. Fine, I'll do what you want. I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. Can you tell me again about the parasites? I don't think we need to hear about the parasites again. This is so epic. Uh, let's do, I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. Don't you understand? There is no other way. Well, I don't know that. Besides, you could be lying to me. How do I know you aren't? I'm no murderer. I don't want to be. I'll find another way without you. Whoa. What? Look, I appreciate you giving me another chance. Don't get me wrong. I can see now that I've made a mistake and I'm ready to try to fix my life. But I really don't like what you're saying. If there's one thing I learned in life, it's that people let you down all the time. If I don't rely on myself, I can't rely on anyone else. What do we you just do? You fool. You damned arrogant fool. You have no idea what you have just done. But fine. Have it your way. In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. I always am. Insult her, be sarcastic, apologize. <laughs> There's so many options. I'm not trying to get Susan killed. Um, be sarcastic. Let's just keep on brand, I guess. Yeah. Don't laugh too hard, old woman. You might break something. I mean, that was when basically an insult. When we meet again, you will beg me on your knees to give you a second chance. I don't really believe in second chances, so I might have to disappoint you again. Look, this is all just a bad dream. I want to wake up. I'm back in the house. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm sure I'll figure out what to do. Yeah, me too. I'm absolutely positive that this is all going to work out for us in some kind of way, right? Strange. The flame seems so strong and steady, but there is no smoke. We don't have to blow anything out, I don't think, right? Or do we? Candle, 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 candle. Candle. Ooh. Oh, boy. I can't get through these. 
What the hell are they anyway? I believe those are maggots, Susan. Believe those are maggots. We have that in the real world as well. Blow them out, I guess. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. Oh, Sheba. Got it. I see what we're blowing out now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Sheba. Oh, God. I can't believe we're doing this. Oh. Okay. How many candles are there? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that's interesting. So we're we're going on a whole different path now instead of how many playthroughs? What the? How did I get back here? How many options are there for this game with the dialogue choices? That is interesting. Can we see our body still? Oh, we can. All right. Well, let's see what else is going on in this world then. Do we go back inside this place? Oh, maybe this is our heart. Maybe that's what this is about. Or probably not, because we're about to get these planks free anyway. So, uh, hold on. I need to get this. Wait, what? Oh, uh, there we go. Man, I hope this doesn't give us a bad ending. By, um... Oh, maybe this is our heart. Huh. Oh, Sheba. Oh, Sheba. Oh, this game is dark as hell. Holy hell, this shit is dark. All right, the machine works now. What? What do we do now? <laughs> 